so here I am in my new-to-me Mitsubishi I-Beef. One of the wonderful things about an electric car is you can drive solo in the carpool lane and the express lanes free. I have this transponder here for the express lanes. And uh, so I got this car on Saturday night and it had a couple of fault codes on the dashboard because the 12 volt battery had gone dead. And I actually told the selling dealer, diagnosed it, they put a new battery in it, so I'm good to go for another five years. But uh, I've wanted an IME for quite a while. As you can see in here, it's it's not a slow car. I mean, it's not as fast as off the line as a lot of the other electric cars that are out there because it's a very basic minimalist car <clears throat> but it's also not horrible I remember Volkswagens in the day made a whole lot more noise than this thing does and didn't have nearly the oomph either I mean the joke was if you were driving into a headwind it took 10 to 20 miles an hour off your top speed and otherwise you'd be floored uh, so here we are I'm on the I-10 between West Covina and Los Angeles and I gotta tell you I'm loving this car I got an amazingly good price on it $4,900 it had 22,000 miles on it and I think I got a real good deal period the one other thing about these cars, the Mitsubishi i Meves, comma, they're the only electric car that every single one made came with the Chatamo DC fast charging capability. And also, unlike the Nissan Leaf, which I had one, comma, and it had very bad battery degradation so I had about 45 miles of range tops. The Mitsubishi iMeV has active thermal management in the battery. So when I was doing the DC fast charge, the blower came on to cool the battery, which never happened with the Leaf. So my route this morning was I drove from Los Angeles to the City of Industry to the Mitsubishi dealer in basically Roland Heights, comma, City of Industry. And then uh, now I'm on my way back to Los Angeles. And I stopped at the Nissan dealer in West Covina and used their Chatamo DC fast charge. In 30 minutes, I went from six miles of range to 50 miles of range. And um, now I'm headed back to LA. And that was the express lane um, transponder. This little puppy up here beeping to let me know that uh, I'm in the express lane, period. If you own an electric car, not a hybrid, not a plug-in hybrid, but a fully electric car, EV, in the state of California. <clears throat> you can drive in all carpool lanes solo, and you can also get the transponder. In my case, I got it from Metro Fast Lanes, but it's actually good anywhere in California. And they basically tell you to just leave it set on, the, on three passengers. And I can drive solo in the express lane for free. That in addition to all the other benefits of owning an EV, mostly no maintenance, filling the windshield washer and checking the tires is about the only maintenance these cars have. And because of the regenerative braking, even the brakes last twice as long as they do on a gasoline car. So, Besides being good for the environment and besides being incredibly inexpensive to run, 
the energy costs on this car are the equivalent of 111 miles per gallon. There's no maintenance. It's like owning a vacuum cleaner or a blender. I mean, what maintenance do you do with your blender besides washing it? You plug it in and use it. Well, this is basically the, the same thing. You plug it in, charge it, use it. Plug it in, charge it, use it. No oil, no oil changes, no spark plugs, no fuel injectors, no engine air filters, no transmission, no transmission fluid, no transmission fluid changes. Even the, ele the power steering is electric. So, and EVs are dirt cheap. If you buy them used, they're much cheaper than the same mileage car and condition car if it's a gasoline car. And most of your driving's in town. Really take a serious look at one of these things because they really are great. This is our third EV. We also have a Fiat 500E, and I had a Nissan Leaf, which was great, other than the battery degradation issue, which is resolved with 2015 going forward.